Hello friends, welcome to CSRP space. Today in this video session, uh, we will discuss about how to export a data into a Excel format in SP.NET Core. So let's start. We open our Visual Studio. Here uh, I already created a project for uh, getting a country list in a tabular format. Uh, this is the project structure. Here I am using a edu.net for uh, fetching a record from a database so first of all i will show the connect string i will apply my local host uh, local database connect string in uh, app setting dot json file it's here it's a test video then i call that uh, connect string uh, to this db.cs that present into the model folder and then get a connection string then i created a store procedure for getting a country list this is the country list here we getting all the country list uh, using this query this is all the current list. Uh, here we create a button for exporting this data into the x format so i'm writing a method here is a public public i action result is a export export to excel then we exporting this uh, data set into the uh, excel format so i am copying this to here it's a data set then we take a where taking a variable type we taking a stream stream which equal to new memory stream we creating a memory stream We need to add a namespace for this. So I am pressing a control dot for finding their namespace. And then it's using using where package is equal to new new Excel package. Here we need to use a Excel package. So uh, we need to add a, a new get package for uh, exporting a data into the X format. So I'm already writing uh, this uh, this package is a EP plus. So I'm run this command into the new get package console manager. It's a package manager console. Here I am executing this uh, command for uh, installing this EP plus. Uh, extension for a new get so currently it's initializing a power cell host it's taking little bit time here we executing uh, this new get command for installing a ev plus excel extension press ok press enter button now uh, this installing a ep plus excel nuget uh, this ep plus uh, excel nuget is installed so this is the readme text so now here uh, we are writing an excel package it's uh, excel excel package here yeah. i'm pressing a control dot for finding their uh, namespace it's taking a member stream it's taking 11 different types of uh, parameters streams files password everything as your requirement then here i'm passing a stream
now is a where worksheet is equal to package dot workbook dot worksheets dot add then here we are writing a seat name it's like a seat one then so worksheet dot sales dot load load from array collections data readers data tables uh, you can load these cells from uh, different different collections like uh, array collections data reader data tables and from text here i am using a data set so i load these cells from data table then here i am passing a data table it's a ds dot ds dot tables is zero is uh, this table uh, on the first index this for a print headers yes we need to headers on the top and then it's a package dot save now it's a stream we set a position for stream a stream dot position is equal to zero is start from a zero index then we set a file name is excel dot stream uh, string excel excel name is equal to here we writing a uh, excel name it's a uh, dollar dollar then like i'm writing a uh, country list country list mean it's a uh, writing a unique name uh, it's date time date time dot now dot to string here i am providing a format for this like a yyy and a mm then dd then take it a hour then minute and the second and then f f f and then we append a dot xls for excel format excel sx then we return this uh, this excel for our downloading return file we return this uh, excel result as a file this a stream stream and then we writing this uh, application means like a content type application slash vnd dot open uh, xml formats open uh, xml formats slash uh, office document office uh, document dot spreadsheet spreadsheet dot uh, spreadsheet spreadsheet ml dot uh, seat then here we provide a downloaded file name it's a excel name now we uh, we call this section method from a uh, uh, attribute links 
here we adding attribute links this is the table list which will display the country name here i am adding a one more div or calling this uh, method okay align is equal to right i am adding a uh, attribute links href Here yeah, we are writing a Excel method name. It's a home, and this export to Excel. We are writing a text export to Excel. Now we run this project. Pressing a Control F5. Oh, it's a debugging a project. Now we will succeed. Now is uh, by default home index uh, will be called. Now it's display all the country list that are present in our country table. Now we click on export to Excel. No, it's exporting a country list into the Excel format. Here we save it. And then we open this Excel. No, it's opening this country list into the Excel. It's processing the Excel file. Taking little bit time. Now this uh, will show all the country list that uh, exported from a uh, uh, database tables. So this is all the process uh, for how to export data into the Excel format. So if you have any questions, any queries, please write in the comment box. I will reply you soon. If you like my videos, click on the subscribe button and uh, notification bell for getting uh, latest updates. So thanks, thanks for watching. We will meet in next video session. Thanks, bye bye.